So, Bunny. Yes. Let's do some news smatterings, Bunny. Okay. Yeah. It's been- Who the fuck is Fergie? Last time I looked, she was a princess. That's so funny. That's the first thing that I had on my on my list of news <laughs> smatterings. Like I, it, it's incredible that you went there. She was the she's the blonde from the 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 Black Eyed Peas. Okay. She's the female. Okay. She takes the heat off of Roseanne Barr. To be fair, it, it really upsets me that people still talk about Roseanne Barr's singing of the national anthem and how horrible she did. Um, um, it's not her fault that she sang the national anthem horribly. It's the fault of whoever's idea it was to hire, to hire Roseanne Barr to sing the national anthem. D- no, to be correct, to sing the national anthem horribly. What what pisses me off about that whole like instance, okay, is I was driving home from work and I heard that Roseanne Barr was going to be singing the national anthem. Yeah. Which is the only time that I had ever to this day heard who was singing the national anthem before they sang the fucking national anthem. Yeah. So I was like, and then the next day it was a raging controversy. And I was like, Roseanne was so fucking set up. Yeah. It, it, it's like, don't blame, don't blame the singer of the national anthem. Blame the person who said, you know, who would be great singing the national anthem, Gilbert Godfrey. Yes. <laughs> so then Gilbert Godfrey does what Gilbert Godfrey does, and then people hate Gilbert Godfrey for it. No, it's not his fault. It's whose ever idea it was to get him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I you mean, I, I mean, at any time in my life, before or after, the idea of Roseanne Barr singing sounds pretty much in my head how it sounded. Yeah. Yeah. So you knew what you were getting into. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, Fergie sang the national anthem at the NBA All Star Game. Uh, she did pretty bad, and people are attacked. Uh, people attacked her, but to be fair, I don't think I could have done any better. <laughs> You're also not a professional singer. Yeah, I'm also not a professional singer, but I, uh, but she, I love. But she tried. She just came yeah. off stupid. Yeah, which is always refreshing to see. She's always been a risk taker, and that. That uh, that particular rendition just apparently didn't hit it correctly or something. I liked I liked the response on Twitter that that this was this wasn't the anthem we wanted. It was the anthem we deserved. I yes, I saw that one. Right there, baby. But yeah, like Fergie is is perfect for singing the national anthem in Trump's America. Yes. Yeah, this is the anthem yeah, we deserve. Yeah, Roseanne Barr is. Yeah. Gibson Guitars. Bunny, did you see this? I don't think so. Gibson Guitars are going bankrupt. They are? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they absolutely are. Uh, Which just blows my mind because Gibson is like right up there with Fender Guitars as the top two companies in their field. It's like if all of a sudden Dr. Pepper filed for Chapter 11, you know? Isn't Dr. Pepper gone or is Dr. Pepper back? I thought Dr. Pepper. Dr. Dr. Pepper's still here. Okay. I was going to use Mountain Dew, but Mountain Dew has quickly joined the list, the ever growing list of multiples. Multiples. Yeah. Like, did you know that, that they make 12 different types of Cheerios right now? Um, I didn't have an exact count. There's original honey nut, multi grain, uh, banana nut. Crunchy, uh, uh, crunchy something, berry burst, frosted, apple yeah. cinnamon, fruity yogurt, and then whatever limited edition ones that they're presently making. And don't even get me started on freaking Oreos. <laughs> that just pisses me off. So, yeah, Gibson is in trouble. But the reason why Gibson might be going out of business is because if you are a musician, and you're going to get a Gibson guitar. 
yeah. you don't you probably don't want a brand new one. Uh, right. You would it, want like a collectible of some kind. Like I don't know who plays what guitar, but like BB King's guitar or something like that. Right? Is that where you're going? Nineteen sixty-seven Gibson guitar or a nineteen seventy-eight Gibson guitar. You don't want like a brand new one. Look, I. I just got it out of the box. Really? Yeah. Why not? No, you, you want some like older, cooler guitar. <laughs> Bella, can you stop torturing the baby, please? Yes. Bunny, this this next bit of news seems really odd to me. Yeah. Especially considering that that it it deals with a, a movie with finger quotes that we covered fucking forever ago. Okay. It's kind of weird for me to say this out loud, but there's Kung Fury news. Kung Fury. Okay. What's What's that, right? That's weird. Yeah. That was, that was, I, I, I liked Kung Fury. I watched Kung Fury again. I don't think I've watched it since then. Yeah, no, I haven't. Kung Fury came out in 2015 after a ridiculously successful Kickstarter. Then the very short quote unquote movie with finger quotes premiered on YouTube. And then there was a period in time where like every fourth person in America would not shut up about Kung Fury. Yeah. Well, now they are in pre-production for a feature length sequel. Really? I don't, you know, I, I, I don't know if I could handle that for like an hour and a half. Yeah. Um, so, you know, you, you know what I mean? I think I would get, I would get like a ridiculous fatigue. Yeah. You know? it, it will once again star uh, the original writer slash director slash star David Sandberg, who played Kung Fury. Um. But also, they have signed up, uh, also in the cast, David Hasselhoff, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Okay. Well, but nice, nice company for David. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger will be playing the president. I don't know who David Hasselhoff plays. But um, this, is, this is when you know it, it's getting serious. Michael Fassbender. Really? Yeah. I guess uh his, his I guess so few people went to go see his thriller with the greatest name of all time, The Snowman. <laughs> oh yeah, and that Assassin's Creed movie really blew box office records. So I guess uh him being in Kung Fury isn't much of a stretch. I I I can't help I gain more and more respect for David Hasselhoff to still be out there hoffing it up you know I mean you gotta he has got to realize that the only reason he's in anything is because he personally is a joke yeah you know, I mean, because really, nobody, nobody hires, you know, they, they didn't they didn't sit back and say, mm, who would be really good up against Michael Fassbender? Yeah. David yeah. Hasselhoff. No, that's not how that goes. They're like, who's an idiot? Let's call David yeah. Hasselhoff. Yeah. You know, I There's- mean, he he is he is now self parodying Harry, yeah. I can't say it. You know what I mean. I know what you mean. There's no word yet on whether uh, Hot Rod co-star Jorma Takone will be reprising his role as Hitler. Yeah. <laughs> no word yet. I'm assuming he is. Yeah. Uh, and of course, the big news recently... Uh, besides Donald Trump constantly tweeting his innocence, despite the Mueller investigation closing in, 
the real big news is Marvel's latest cinematic movie release, Black Panther, which blew away yes. all expectations, raking in, get this, Bunny, over $250. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. I'm just kidding. It blew Hollywood a new asshole. It totally did from what I've heard. So like on Sunday, they said, oh, yeah, we're estimating that it made about uh, $200 million. So then on Monday, they said, OK, that number was off. <laughs> it, it actually made $235 million. So it, it's become the best Febu- February release it, it, it it's shattering records. It's also the best African American. It, it's also the highest grossing African American film to feature vibranium. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's only the fifth movie ever to open with a two hundred million dollar weekend. So that's awesome. Yeah. It's interesting to think that only five films have opened with that much money. But I have heard nothing of the plot. Do you know anything about, like, what's the story here? Oh, yeah. No, I know what it's about. Yeah? I know what it's about. I know what happens at the end. I know what the the, the cut scenes are. The the, the cut scenes. The, the, the after the credits. Sequence. Sequence. Yeah. yeah. I really want to go see it bad, but when you're out of a job and saving money, movies exactly. kind of... Yeah, movies kind of feel... Uh, like something you can get away with not doing. Yeah. An extravagance that you shouldn't An probably. Extravagance. Yeah. Yeah. But I hear black people are beating up white people. Oh, yeah. 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 